Hi, up. So this is the. Oh, I don't know which video it is now. <laughs> I lost track of which videos I'm doing. It's a long day of doing videos. Right. So here we go. So it says if feet is an angle such that cot feet is a three, find the exact value for cot two feet. I haven't got a formula for cot two feet, but I do know that cot two feet is be one over tan two feet. So what I'm going to do is find tan two feet. I also know if cot feet is three. And I think of 3 as being 3 divided by 1. The tan theta, if I flip it upside down, is a third there. Right, so we said that tan 2 theta is 2 tan theta over 1 minus tan squared theta. So tan 2 theta is 2 times by a third over 1 minus a third squared, so what have I got there? I've got two thirds over one minus a ninth, so that's eight over nine. So that's going to give me the nine on top, the three cancels gives me three and two to three quarters, I reckon. So I've got tan two feet will be three quarters. Now then, nice and easy one. Um, so my cot two feeter is one over tan two feeter. So my cot two feeter is one over three quarters. So my cot two feeter is four thirds. Remember, we had that secant theta is 1 over cos theta. Uh, cosecant theta is 1 over sine theta. And cot theta is 1 over tan theta, which is if tan sine over cos, then cot theta is cos over sine. So it kind of works on the idea that you've remembered that from last year. Right, let's keep on going. Have a look at the next example, see if we can get through this. Oh, I've jumped a page. Certainly didn't want to do that page. <laughs> I hate doing that page. Here we go. There. Right, so it says, solve it. So I want to replace the cos 2 theta. I know that cos 2 theta is cos squared minus sine squared. But what I want to do, because I've got this sign here, is replace it with something just with sine. So I want to replace just with sine. So if I replace the cos squared with 1 minus sine squared, I get cos 2 theta is 1 minus 2 sine squared. And that's what's going to go there, 1 minus 2 sine squared theta. It'll mess with your head the first few times you do it. To say that my cos squared minus sine squared becomes a 1 minus 2 sine squared. It is the way it is. We've just got to keep practicing. So stick it all on the other side, I've got 2 sine squared theta minus 3 sine theta, take the 1 over, plus 1, I think. Yep, stick it in poly, so 2 minus 3, 1, gives me a value of a half and a value of 1, so that's for sine theta. So look, so in radians, So that'll give me pi by 6, which is 30 degrees. Uh, that will give me just pi by 2. If I look on the graph, if I graph, what time are we on? Oh, back to time. 
If I graph y equals sine theta and y equals a half from 0 to 2 pi, then the other values I'll get the other values I'll get out. will be 5 bat and 5 pi by 6. If I graph the sine theta and the 1 between 0 and 2 pi, that's the only value I get out there. Oh, I changed the colour. So then the radians grab the value. So there's one for you to have a go at. So you want to change the cos 2 theta into the equation, replacing the sine squared with 1 minus cos squared. So you get 2 cos squared theta minus 1. Let's see if they've done that. Yeah, so they've got all the values out for time around 6 minutes. Wow, well, let's keep going. Right. What colour are they on? Red. Good. So I'm going to replace the sine 2 theta. 2 sine theta cos theta is 9 sine theta. So 14 sine theta cos theta is 9 sine theta. Now what a lot of people do is they cancel the sine theta and you mustn't do that. So do not cancel Don't do that. You take it out as a factor. Oops. So to take it over, I've got 14 sine theta cos theta minus 9 sine theta is 0. Take out sine theta as a factor. So a lot of people will just divide the sine theta out. But what I do is I lose all my values for sine theta is 0. I don't want to lose those values for sine theta is 0. All right, take the 9 over and divide through by 14. There. So what do we got? Are we still in radians? Yeah, check that. So we're still in radians. So theta is zero gives me zero out. If I graph it, I get theta as zero pi and two pi. Check the inequalities. Because what they'll do is they'll have zero less than or equal to theta and less than two pi. So you don't need the 2 pi at the end, but this one will do, we're okay with it. Uh, check this one for 9 over 14, it's going to give you a random number, 0.873. Graph it, so remember, I'm going to press the button. So graph y equals cos x, y equals 9 over 14, have your x set from 0 to 2 pi, have your y from minus 1 to 1, and it'll give you out the 8.73, but also 5.41. There. There we go. Is there anything more on that? We've got that half one. I don't want to do the next one. I hate doing the next one because you have to think backwards and it's never come up on paper. But the thing is, if I don't teach you this year, it's bound to come up on paper. Right, I'll stop there and have a cry while I think about doing this next class, this next example. Bye-bye.